All right, guys, before we jump into the action, I just want to apologize. Um, I've tried to, been trying to resolve an issue with FFmpeg, um, uh, where it's joining my two parts of the video together. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know what's going on, but it, it's not working, and it's not allowing me to combine the clips um, fully. So what I've done instead, if you look at the little eye up here, there should be a link to an unlisted video, um, which is the end of me solving the puzzle from the previous um, video, an explanation of why that has been done and why it's in a separate video. It's kind of like at the beginning, once I get into the main video, but apologies once again, um, but there it is, if you want to see me solving that. But without further ado, let's jump into the main video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog, and yes, I did finish that puzzle. And let me tell you, it took me another 30 minutes well, a little over 30 minutes actually off camera recording and that was right at the end of that but man that was a tricky tricky puzzle anyway we're on today guys and um i think we're gonna be in with a bit more story and a bit more riddle in this episode so um yeah that should be exciting so without further ado let's um jump in here ah finally i'm inside i'm absolutely soaked to the bone and since it was a little windy outside i was freezing cold here it's nice and cozy. Maybe I'll stay here for a while. Warm up again. Maybe I'll maybe see if there's a phone or something to call someone with. Though I do not remember anyone's phone number. I could call the police, I guess. That would probably suffice. Let's explore around this place. It looks pretty old and abandoned, though. I should not have my hopes up too high. It's kind of it's a bit reminiscent of the other place, isn't it? Where we was in the last riddle. Let's move that out of the way. Uh, I wonder if I can get like into here, maybe. Mm, okay, I don't want to go down there just in case. Um, it's just like going to skip something. There is a person here. There is a chest, so obviously we've we've got a riddle. The door is locked. So is it possible just to skip this bit? Good day, Lewis. It's you again, the guy from the ballroom. The fact you remember he should have, should have been more flattering. Although, provided the circumstances, I reckon I couldn't have asked for much more. What? How did you get here before me? Is there another way? Can you help me out? You are again in a hurry. What a pity. Sir, I'm deeply sorry, but I really have no clue what's going on here. Could you please explain? That wouldn't be any fun, would it? Now, to get down to biz... Cut the know-it-all act already. I am lost. You can help. Why don't you help me? I want to go home. Home, you say? And where in the world would that be? Uh, I'm not really sure. I kind of suffer from amnesia. I'm afraid you'll have to be a little more specific, my child. There is only one way I could send you at the moment. Where might that be? Through the door in the back, of course. Please be a little bit more observant, young lady. Why would I want to go there? It's probably full of those lame puzzles anyway. Your phrasing is most amusing. Speaking of puzzles, before I will let you out of here, I have a puzzle for you to solve. Ugh, not again. I'm afraid so. With me, I have a special device that is linked to every item in this room. It keeps track of a certain a certain number, which I like to call the magic number. Interacting with the object will change the magic number in a certain way. And I will leave it to you to figure out in exactly what way the system works. The magic number will start at five. It's your job to get it down to zero. Sorry, to one. When you've succeeded in doing so, I will hand over the key to the exit. Of course, just like last time, I'll provide you with a small hint. The magic number can never exceed 200. I, I need pen and paper. Paper! Where's my trusty pad? Here's my trusty pad for all things gaming and puzzles. <laughs> all right, so um, we're going to start at five. Five. We need to get to a hundred. Uh, get to one, and we can't exceed two hundred. Okay. Uh, try to figure out a system and company you'll be capable of doing so. One last thing, the plant next to me can be used to reset the magic number. Should your current magic number become very large. Good luck and have fun. 
I guess the only way to do this weird cabin is to solve his puzzle again. I wonder if he wants, if he was the one who set up the code cracking puzzle as well. All right. Save. So before I start, I wonder if I can go down here. The door is locked. Okay. So, all right, so. My theory was there, there was four beds. Hmm, there's a double there. Alright. So, table is 25. So, a round table is 20. So hold on. So a broken round table equals five, right? What? Does it double every time I press on an item? Possibly. So the broken barrel is five as well for a start. Let's reset this. Scrap wood. It's 20. It's 25, so that's times it by 5. Times it by 5 again. It's 125. Okay, so. Scrap wood. Times 5. We have the round tables. which are times two. Squares table is times five. I need to find some division. Pot is times two. I'm on ten, aren't I? Sit in a minute. All right, so I've got to, I, I got to try to organise myself better here. So I've got a times two column. I've got a times five column. Five is the barrel, the wood, and the square table so far. Times two is the pot and round tables. The bed as well, possibly. So 
still in the bed. It's the piano. Piano is times five. Smash crate. There's no the issue I'm seeing there is there's, there's no Where's the division ones? This chair. Oh, shelf. That was a totally different sound. Shelf might be division. It's 15, so that was times three. Which should make that 45, right? Yep, okay. Okay, so a new bed is times five. It's only the old beds that are. Man. Did I do the stalls? Upside down stall. Square table. Yep, yeah, already got the square table. Shelf. Uh, yep, I've already got the shelves there. Closet is 15. Chest of drawers. Fifteens. So where am I? Double bed, possibly. So the neatly made bed. Yeah, new bed is five. Which we've got. Is there anything else that I haven't? Smash crate, put that on times two. Pipe bed. Okay. That's a times one. The pipe bed is times one. Interesting.
large chair. Yes, times one. Fuzz. Okay. So I've already found all the items. Okay, so I've got to get to one. I need to make 200 from five, right? So I have five. Can I make 100? I can make 25 times two is 50, times two is 100 times. So, all right, so I want to find, let's do the wood. Now give me 25 times two, 50. Times two is 100, times two is 200. Oh, what? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know why I did, but I, I don't know what I did, but I solved it. <coughs> um, Mike, maybe you can... Um, maybe you can uh, let me know, Mike, what I actually did. Maybe I'll lie down for a bit. That's probably a good idea. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've, uh, if you've got, no, that's not Paul. Um, don't forget that we will be back real soon with episode number 10 of Sucker Band, the RPG. But until next time, I've been Knock, you've been awesome. See ya.